Guys, I'm a Samus here again, and uh, I'm posting something a little different today. Um, instead of Call of Duty videos, I've got some Dream Team videos for you. Now, I will do a Super Coach one. I'm not very good at Super Coach. I'm better at Dream Team, more strategy, and uh, I will post one if you guys want me to. But this is my new 2011 Dream Team. Um, I'm pretty good at Dream Team. I know how to set them up, and I came in the top 200 last year, which is pretty good. Won my pri uh, public league grand final by a lot. And, uh, yeah. So I'll talk about how I set mine up and my team. Uh, what I like to do, first of all, is have like 8 million something to start with. And uh, I've got mine down to, what have I got, 2,100 there. So that's pretty good. I've nearly used it all. What I like to do is I get my first two backmen, as you can see there. Lake and Goddard, I choose the first two backmen I want the most I pop them in straight away, no worries I go down to the midfielders now and where are we, there we are and I click and I get the two midfielders I want the most so I've got Swan and Ablett but I'll have to trade out Ablett because he's not playing first round because Gold Coast have a bye um, and then I leave that, I go down so I pick the Ruckman, everyone's going to choose Sandlands he's the only really good one really there's a couple, but Sand Lands is the way to go. Here's my Ruckman. Doesn't really matter about the secondary Ruckman. Mine's T Hickory. He hasn't even played a game before. I don't even know that guy. Hickey. Not even Hickory. I don't even know that guy is. But the Ruckmans don't really score that high. So Sand Lands scores the highest. So I'd rather spend money on one good Ruckman and then have money left over for more better midfielders than having two good Ruckmans, you know what I mean? And having a crappy midfielder. Because midfielders tend to score more than Ruckman. So that's a better way to do it. And my two forwards I had the most are Franklin and Chapman, but I don't know if Chapman's playing or not. I think he's injured. I'm not sure. So then what I did next is look how much money I had. I think I had about five minutes. So I went, all right, then I'll go back through. So I went back up, and I thought, yeah, I'll grab Delidio. He's only 370000 and he's a really good player. So I chucked in Delidio, and I chucked in Campbell Brown as well on the Gold Coast because he's one of my favorite players, even though I go for Essendon. I haven't got a single Essendon player in besides a rookie, I think. So I chucked them two in. I've now got four of the backmen I needed. So I went through and I chucked in another two midfielders. Now midfielders, I like to tend to have like a lot of good good midfielders. They tend to score higher than anyone else. So I chucked in Hodge and Judd in my midfield as well. Um, like I already explained my ruckman. And then I went down and I chucked in a lot of firepower at my forward line. My final forward line is pretty damn impressive besides one guy who hasn't played a game before. Um, as you can see, forward line right there is Didac, Chapman, Franklin, Steve Johnson, Paul Pleasure, Osborne, and some random guy I don't know. Um, I tend to fill my forward line with all my players straight away that I want, not spending too much on all of them so I have money left over. And um, so, because forward line, if they kick goals, you get six points, which is the most you can get. So it's better to have good forward line players and more backmen because they don't they tend to really only get handballs backmen that I've seen in the last. And that's only worth two or three points. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so then I went back to my back line and I thought, all right. So I've done all my forward line, done my rackman. Reserves don't really matter. So I thought, all right. So my whole forward line's done. Whole rackman are done. Now it's just midfield and forward line where I'm at. So first of all, I chucked in Alan Tuvey. He's pretty cheap. I had him last year. He did all right towards the end of the year. Hopefully, he has a better season, brings in more points. And Grover. Grover is a good player for Fremantle. He'll, I reckon he'll have a good season. I chucked him in, as well as a young star, Marcus White, who's only 160000 and played a fair few games for the Roos. So I did all that. I had a fair bit of money left over. I thought, all right, great. So I chucked in another player that I had for my team last year, and I chucked in Liam Picken. Now, he surprisingly brings in a fair few points, and uh, I thought... He'd be a good one to put in, seeing he's only 256,000. He's averaged like 70 or something last year. He's a good player to have in there. And Shane Edwards as well. He gets a fair few games for the Tigers, and he has a good average as well. And the rest doesn't really matter. If you guys um, liked this video, don't forget to sub. I do sub for sub, don't forget. Um, you just autofill the rest of them. If you have any spaces and you don't know what to do, just autofill it. I do. And then if you autofill it, it fills it with good players. It leaves you a good amount of money. So you can rearrange it to what you're liking. And uh, it um, helps a lot. I reckon it's good autofill. But you just go autofill random players. Anyway, that's my team. Um, season starts soon. 40, what does it say there? Where is it? 
lockout time. 44 days now until the real premiership season starts. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, NAB Cup this Saturday as well, don't forget. Uh, on TV. I don't know about Friday on Foxtel. I don't have Foxtel, but uh, that's my dream team, guys. So I hope it, help, hope, it, hope it helps. Uh, I probably will do a Super Coach one. I'm shit at that, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to sub, and I'll see you later.